Hello guys, happy Saturday, happy Holy Weekend. Um, I hope you guys are awesome. I had to sit down and take a break. I hope the fan isn't going to be too loud because your girl is hot, okay? I'm a little, I'm a little uh, 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 heated up. It's super humid here. It's raining. We're expecting rain here in the next few hours and I hope it's not torrential because your girl is turning her grill on, okay? I am craving a carne asada with rice and beans and tortillas heated on the grill with salsa and guacamole. I'm craving all of that goodness and figured... I've been in spring fever mode out in the yard, planting and splitting plants and everything. I cleaned up the grill and everything, and I'm like, you know what? My big dude's taking care of some of the bills around the house, so I had a little bit extra to do a little bit extra because um, I try to stick to, like, a grocery budget. But And carne asada is not usually on my grocery list, but I'm craving it. I want it, and it's a good barbecue weekend. Would have been better if it wouldn't be for this friggin' humidity, but it's supposed to be raining more tomorrow than today, and tomorrow's actual Easter, so uh, I want to get my grill on. Our friends are coming over. We're going to hang out. We're going to watch movies after. We might light the fire pit, do s'mores outside, depending on the mosquitoes and the weather situation, but I say all that to say your girl had to take a break. I'm, f I'm hearing how fast I'm talking. I had the large sweet tea from McDonald's. I'm actually almost done with it, the large, and that always tends to make me kind of hyper, but I knew I was going to need it because I had to straighten up the house a little bit, uh, bring out the umbrella for outside, and blah, 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 blah. But anywho, I wanted to come and sit down and share with you guys the finds that we found at Black Friday. If you guys remember, we had gone to Black Friday. Uh, I'd gone in there on 25 cent day or 50 cent day, I can't remember, and I got a bag full of things. Well, Little Jude and I went on Thursday, and it's, no, not Thursday, they're closed on Thursdays, Wednesday, I think, whatever day it was that was $4, and I didn't want to go in because I'm cheap, and I'm like, $4, and if I find a whole bunch of awesome things, it's $4 a piece, it can add up, well, I had a little mad money, and we went in not expecting to find anything because I didn't find all that much on 50 cent day, mind you, on 50 cent day, or 25 cent day, whenever the heck I was there, Everything's pretty much picked over, but on the $7, $5, $4 days, there's a lot of stuff. You guys, I left a whole lot behind. This store has a little bit of everything, and when I tell you guys everything, I mean everything. Okay, but it's not all gross like that. There are other things in there, like this. Now this stuff is new, guys. There's a lot of really cute stuff. There's clothes. Look, I still remember. Oh, cool. There's clothes and food and electronics, and we just got started, but I wanted to give you guys kind of a look-see at what we're doing today. Chinese wishing lanterns. Isn't that nice? Red ones. I saw this adorableness. It's a bunch of little Mickey Mouse baggies for like baby showers or party gifts. I mean, party favors. There's a lot of Halloween stuff in here still. Oh, that's a. I thought that was a ghost. That's a palette. A painter's palette. But see, this will be Amazon things that were returned or unwanted. I don't know what this is, but yeah. You liking it? You liking it? Yeah. So we picked up a few things, a little more than I had anticipated, but because little dude was finding so many awesome things that I know are not $4 anywhere else, I went ahead and just splurged a little on him. Case in point, now, if the kids are back in the room, they may very well recognize this creepy little thing. While I'm playing my video games, my uh, games, uh, the ads for a game, 
uh, that this little guy is on comes on and he's one of these little hugger things you hug on a backpack or whatever um, but it's this creepy little character and he was four dollars this is another uh, video game character this little cat I don't know his name little dude knows his name but uh, little dude has since taken them out of the pack now this is these, these were brand new in plastic bags he grabbed this little guy he grabbed this character see they're brand new in bags I don't know if I think these are like mail order things that are returned or whatever because like I said they have a lot of Amazon returns in boxes you got, if anybody if kids are watching may recognize I'm sorry about the lighting guys one of my bulbs blew out so I've noticed when I get see the fluctuation of lights but anywho it's this creepy little girl and y'all know little dude loves a creepy doll and then an Among Us I don't even know these because of little dude but they're all brand new in packages for four bucks little dude has been wanting those h h t e h e d lights to go around his room but they can get pretty expensive for the strips and all that and um we, as we were walking to the register we came across a lot of closed boxes well i started looking on the labels on some of the boxes and some of this you know is not marked but it says do not open boxes but everybody else around me was opening boxes so this mama opened a box and you guys, LED party lights. Two in a box for $4. And it's these things. He's already opened them and they're already in his room. These are awesome, guys. We saw these at, we've seen them all over the place for like $5 and $10. Uh, they already came with a battery remote. And this little thing has three or four different set, four settings. This is so awesome, guys. We got two because we didn't know how big it was going to light up. It lights up his entire room. It looks like a club in there, okay? It looks so cool. The four different settings are so nice. Different um, tempos uh, of the light and everything. Amazing. We got two for four. Couldn't believe it. So luck was on our side that day for that. Um, they're really fun. They're really, really neat. He also found this bag full of knock off um hi oh guys who is this this bear thing these are the knockoffs these are not the real actual ones again i'm old i don't know the name roblox is it roblox i don't know i don't know little dude is uh talking to his little brother or playing in his room so he can't help me out here but it's in bags full of these and we thought they were the original but when you look at them closer you can tell they're a little knockoffy. But it's this bag full of these little action figures that I thought were cute. And I know he can mess around and play with them. Got this mobile phone HD TV converter. You guys, I'm not techie at all. I'm not able to get Hulu or our Disney Plus on my TVs. My TVs are just a little under the super smart TV of it all. I can get Netflix and... and uh, um, one of my other channels on my TV downstairs, but Hulu and Disney Plus are not compatible with my TV, not compatible with the Blu-rays that I have attached. So I was going to go buy a Roku or get uh, an Amazon Fire Stick just so I can access on a TV because currently I watch them on my phone. But Little Dude also shares my Hulu and my Disney Plus on his phone. He has an iPhone because his dad is bougie like that and gave him an, an iPhone. But anywho... I got this to connect to his iPhone to connect to the phone and then we can watch it that way. This I thought was an amazing friggin' deal and it was four bucks. So yay! I'm still gonna get the, um, I think I'm gonna do the Amazon, I think I'm gonna do the Fire Stick only because I'm an Amazon Prime member and all the reviews I've seen say you're better off that way. I don't know, you guys tell me. Roku, Amazon Fire Stick, do y'all have one? Do y'all have both? Have y'all had one or the other? What are y'all's opinions on them? I just wanna be able to watch my Hulu. And my Disney Plus, since I'm paying for them, on my big TV downstairs. Okay. Found this thing. It is a folding saw, and this is going to come in handy downstairs, downstairs, in the backyard so well. Because every friggin' spring, we have storms, and I end up with little limbs all over my backyard. And sometimes I can snap them in half, sometimes I can't. So this is going to come in half to when I have to chop them up. I either use them for my fire pit or just put them in a box and put them on the sidewalk for um, the trash. But it is one of these folding saws and I thought that was really stinking cool. Then I thought these were neat. They might be a little big. I haven't even tried them on, but brand new. I'm telling you the guys, these are returns. You have to be returned 
from someplace. And uh, they had swimsuits and clothes, lots and lots of hoodies, but I could have gotten in trouble there because $4 adds up. Now these look kind of big. It's these water shoes. I'm hoping, <laughs> I'm hoping they're not too big, but even if, they, come on, light, cooperate. Ugh. But even if they um, are a little too big, you know, when your feet get wet, they get all sticky. So it was a brand new pair of these water shoes. And y'all, we go to the lake all summer long. So those are going to come in handy for my big patonas. I was trying to find some for little dudes, but I couldn't find any for little dudes. And then I found these for my big dude, and I thought this was really, really cool. These are Drago slides, came in a pouch. They had a whole bunch of these. Now I hope they fit my big dude, because he has a big old honking foot. These are a size 9, 10, but it's these needle looking slides and they're so squanchy and comfortable i'm firm on the bottom for support but the inside is all cushioned y'all see this these are so stinking cool and that was the only size they had was nine ten because i would have liked some seven eight for me but um i got these from a big dude and the last thing i picked up is already in rotation in my house it's outside actually I found this plant support. It came brand new in a bag and I put it together and it's a plant support. I put it in the backyard for my tomato plant. Yes, I bought a tomato plant, guys. I hope I don't kill it. I hope it produces something. Uh, I'm kind of ending up going to end up making a pepper patch. If I plant some onions, I have my chile, my, my jalapenos, my tomato and I can easily throw some little green onions in a pot and grow a plethora of onions or grow a sprouted onion, plant a sprouted onion, maybe grow an onion plant. I'm not sure. But um, I'll show you guys how this is working in the backyard in just a little bit. Yay! Here it is. I have it sitting in this here flower pot, and that is Tommy the tomato. That is Mr. Thomas the tomato. I thought that was an awesome price for four stinking dollars. Yay. Here's some peppermints. Here's some peppermints I purchased. Sweet mint. Mm -mm -mm. Love it. I know. I was just going to show you the tomato standy thing. But quick uh, heads up if you don't know, Home Depot has a lot of their plants on clearance. This one was $14.98, but it was on clearance because the booty and Rahel is all burnt up or froze off. So they're selling it for half off and I went ahead and bought it. I'm gonna reput it and bring it back to life. But thought I'd share it with you since it's out here and I was looking at it. Then we went to Thrift Town. Well, I went to Thrift Town on the way home Friday because I had another irate person be really, really mean and nasty to me. And I just needed it. It was almost the end of the day. And I knew better than to answer a phone call that late in the day. And I did it anyway. Oh, and I got my butt chewed out by a psycho. So I was upset. I was stressed out. So I went to Thrift Town. I don't need that excuse to go to Thrift Town to go thrifty period. But I did. And I found something that's going to go right along with my Southern Comfort. Stupid lighting. Ta-da! Do I drink Jack Daniels? Hex to the no. I don't want hair on my chest, okay? I don't. Um, but... I couldn't leave behind this metal sign. I thought it was awesome. And I have a, a Southern Comfort one and then I have a Bud Light one. Your girl don't even drink like that, okay? I am going to pop open a bottle of Moscato tonight, though. Sip it by the fire pit. Anywho, um, I thought this was really cool and it was $2.99. Okay. Then I found this crazy looking fun Hawaiian shirt and you guys when I tell you this fits amazing it covers my flabby arms it covers my monster it's bright it's colorful it's wonderful loved it I could not leave it behind and it was only $3.99 it looks like a jumbled mess of something but it is so tropical it's gonna be so cute with some turquoise uh, sandals that I have this exact color and some little denim jeans. It's going to be so stinking cute for, I'm already picturing myself out there looking casually summery wonderful at the flea market. And then I found this. I couldn't resist it. It was only $2.49 and it was just so stinking cute. And I can totally see myself wearing this around the house while I'm cleaning or outside while I'm, well, no, not outside in Texas in the heat. Your girl will explode like a popcorn kernel. 
But uh, it's this cute little flouncy black shirt that says girl power. So cute. And then I found these little candlesticks because why not? Okay, I liked the size. They're going to fit perfect in the two little candlesticks that I have downstairs. And they were only 99 cents. So grab those. I found another little big decorator bit for a flower pot. A little goosey. This cute little, my big old dome head is taking it out of focus. Found this cute little goose. And he was only 99 cents. This lighting, guys. Look at that. In and out. In and out. So annoying. Sorry. And the only other thing I picked up, and I had put it back a couple of times that I'm like, heck to the no, I love these kind of things. And every now and then, I'll use loose leaf tea instead of a tea bag. So I have a couple of these, but not one this pretty or this tall. It's this lovely tea soaker cup. See? You put your little tea leaves in there and you seep it, a tea seep cup with a little lid so the kitty or carachas or sangudos, mosquitoes, bugs, june bugs, whatever doesn't fly in your little sippy sip. I thought it was so stinking pretty and it was only oh, stupid light, $1.99. So yes, that is everything here. I'm going to go ahead and get this uploaded and spliced together for you guys. And then I'm going to go downstairs and start marinating my meat. I'm going to do carne asada. I'm going to do uh, adobo chicken. I'm going to do rice and beans. Uh, and then that's it. I got a chocolate cake. Uh, I'm going to make pico de gallo. I'm going to slice up some avocados. I don't want to make guacamole because my friend can't eat raw tomatoes. The seeds tear her stomach up. And I'm sorry, I cannot have guacamole without tomatoes in it. So I'm just going to slice up some avocado. Uh, we're going to do all the fixings, the cilantro, the onion, the chile, the lime for um, the meat to be made into tacos. Um, and just very, very basic. I was going to go American barbecue with the brisket and the potato salad and the baked beans and all that. But that's a whole lot of extra work where pintos, charro beans are so easy. Rice is so easy within 20 minutes. The meat, you just marinate for two hours, slap it on the grill, and that's it. It's not a lot of prep work for the Mexican uh, carne asada as opposed to like your American where there's a lot of prep in that I think because I'm very OCD my potato salad has to be just so my beans have to be just so anybody got time for all that because I tend to stress out when I want to be the hostess with the mostest and I just want to relax it's pretty early right now I think I have plenty of time to marinate my meat and get it on the grill if it don't stink and rain. I got my backyard looking so cute. I think it's really cute. I wish I had grass, guys. I don't mind not having grass when I have to mow the grass or when I have to pay my grass guy to come out and do it. But I think this winter I'm going to put down some grass seed because, yeah, I don't like it. I, d I don't like all the dirt. <sighs> but anywho, until my next go around, I hope you guys are having an incredible weekend. I hope you guys have a very, very relaxing weekend. If you are a believer, if you are a worshiper, I hope you all get your connection. Click, click with the Lord Almighty this weekend. We should be having it every day. But yeah, give him a little extra lovings this weekend, a little extra thank yous this weekend. So until my next go around, I love y'all bunches.